a stinker. I just couldn't get enough from these guys. And I said, when I grow up in New Skin, and I'm a lot older than Jeff is, but I, I, when I grow up in New Skin, I want to be a, combi a female version of Jeff Mack and Nathan Ricks. And I'll never get there, but that's, I want you to know that's who you're about to hear. No one can put this business and frame it better for you that really want to do something important with your lives for yourselves and your family than the gentleman you're about to hear. Jeff Mack is the founder of Team Elite University. How many of you have been to Team Elite University? I have the privilege of attending over 130 Team Elite Universities. And those are monthly events we do up in Utah. And I go every month, and I go there because I can always learn something new from this man and the other, team, other, other mentors that are there. Jeff is, I don't know how many year Team Elite, I think close to 25 year Team Elite. He's in, in the Midwest, we call it spit and distance of, um, of $20 million in earnings with the company. No one is more respected, revered, and appreciated and beloved than Jeff Meck. So please stand up and give him a warm sign. Situation. Went to college and I thought, you know what? What am I doing here? 
It was paid for with an athletic scholarship. That's why I went. But it's like, am I being trained here to become an employee? I don't want that. You know, and I, I didn't know what I was looking for. I was looking for freedom. And when I saw this business and I saw the environment, it, it changed me. And that's that's really what we're talking about. I mean, most people come into the workforce in their 20s and they work about 40 years. Most people work at stuff they don't like. Would you guys agree with that? Most do, but they do it out of necessity. Okay, because they have children, they have a spouse, and they gotta put food in their mouth, and they gotta put a roof over their head. And most people go through their whole life doing stuff they hate. And that's tragic, okay? And the statistics are this, okay? Then they retire. They retire because they're sick of working in something they hate. And you know what the stat is? They die five years later. Mm -hmm. For sure. Cool. How would you guys, that sells well, doesn't it? <laughs> work hard 40 years of something you hate and then die five years later. Okay, that doesn't work for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people in this room will attest to that. Hopefully that's you if you're new. And so we have a different philosophy and it's, hey, Catch a window of opportunity, work really hard one time, and position yourself in front of the growth window. Because it's going to take an effort. But this effort is different than any mechanism that most of us have been involved in. Okay? It's, it's a totally unique oh situation when you analyze what it is we're doing. I'm going to cover some areas here. We're going to talk about some trends. These are things bigger than us. These are things that move things. It's not about us being great salespeople. It's about just getting in the path of this movement. Technology and products, okay, technological breakthroughs, patented stuff, stuff that other people do not have. A company, why would you want to partner with Newskin? I'll explain that. Compensation, what does that all mean? And the why is now the time? Why after about 30 years in business, was you as a new person wanting to engage with this opportunity?